Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So my name is Steve Baker. I'm an Aruba CX switching TME. And in this 1010 TOI video, I'm gonna provide a quick description of the feature which is described and called global configuration and interface defaults for storage protocols. So we can see the agenda here. I won't spend much time here. Let's jump over to the overview. So uh, as an overview of this topic, this is actually a topic called interface persona. This is a feature which allows the users to create uh, groups of interfaces that behave as templates. Um, an interface that is a template, it's not a real interface, but it's what we call an interface persona. And that purpose, of course, is again, like I said, to provide uh, a template to serve uh, and operate on multiple interfaces. So multiple interfaces can inherit the configuration from a single uh, interface persona. Let's take a look at the uh, configurations on this. So at the CLI level, we simply run the interface persona command and give it a name. Of course, that name could be up to 64 characters long. And then once we do provide that with a name, we're now in the uh, interface persona context over on the right. And this is where we can start applying a persona to this uh, persona, to this interface persona. Clearly you can see here the personas are access. So this is an access interface, uplink. This is an uplink interface. And then of course there's a custom option also. And then we also have a couple options which are attach and copy. Um, in fact, let's go to the next screen to describe those. So in 10.9, we could actually label a persona, but with 10.10, we've uh, added the copy and attach features. So the difference between copy and attach is with copy, uh, that performs a one-time copy of the persona to the actual interface. Any sort of subsequent changes to the persona are not going to be applied to that interface. Uh, and of course, not surprisingly, if the persona doesn't exist and you try to run that uh, command, the, uh, the command is gonna fail with the persona not found message. Uh, but with, 10, with the attach feature, uh, what this does is this performs a copy of that persona to the interface and any sort of subsequent changes to that persona are then immediately applied to that physical interface. Um, the, the persona in, in this case doesn't need to exist before attaching it. So we can actually run that all in the same command. And uh, essentially once we attach it uh, to an interface, really that persona remains open in case it needs to, uh, it needs, in case it needs to be modified. And, and again, any sort of con uh, further changes to that persona will automatically overwrite the configuration of the persona, but also any of the interfaces that it's been attached to. So big difference. Uh, when we're looking at the details, so this is supported uh, only on physical port interfaces. It's not supported on sub interfaces, split ports, lags, or VXLAN at the moment. Um, there were a number of uh, changes with regards to the OVSDB database, the schema. Of course, we had to create a couple new columns and create a new meta tag for the schema. Um, the uh, OVSDB server is in charge of copying that configuration columns from one interface row to another. And there was a new cache that was created to store those, uh, those references. Um, uh, the interface persona rows need to be hidden uh, from non-management interface clients. Uh, and there was a new flag that was created uh, for, to, to avoid executing uh, uh, template logic uh, this is the disable underscore row underscore template command. Um, and of course the HPE rest D needs to be aware of these uh, persona interfaces using that new is underscore persona column that we've added. Uh, so troubleshooting is quite simple, really. I mean, really what we wanna do is simply run, do the show running config interface. In this example, we're looking at interface 111. We can see the persona uplink has been applied to this interface. Um, we can also get that same uh, type of config detail if we just simply run the show interface command. Um, it's, it's drilled, you have to drill down in the uh, output to find it, but you'll see the persona uplink uh, within the outlook, within that config. 
Um, if the persona is not taking after you've applied it to an interface and it's not showing up here, then we would shut the interfaces and reapply the persona and then rerun these commands. Uh, and and uh, from what I've seen, that literally uh, solves the problem. Uh, when we're looking at resources for this feature, um, I've provided a link here to uh, the, um, the uh, interface commands uh, config guide. Uh, in fact, it goes straight to the persona section of that to give you some uh, information about the new persona feature. Um, Arubapedia for internal and partners, of course, is always useful, as well as the Aruba support portal. So here I've provided a, an example of uh, the, all the documentation uh, guides that were provided for 10.9. So this is a quick, simple, easy way to download all those guides. And with that, I will uh, leave you and say thank you.